In Pueblo, the city plans to build a new pump station to alleviate a persistent flooding problem along 29th Street under I-25. Yes, it's been there for years, always a problem. The existing station, more than 40 years old, and frankly, it can't keep up with the rapid rainfall, hasn't been able to for years. There's Sam Kramer live there tonight. And Sam, water isn't the only problem here. Yeah, well, Rob, the dry mud is still the best indicator of how bad this flash flood was on this vertical beam on the underpass. You can see it's about thigh high, the road about another foot down. So clearly it's a lot of water, a lot of mud that was brought with this flood. That's why today stormwater crews, they spent hours clearing in inside and outside of this pump station, which was really the main source of this dangerous traffic hazard. I thought it being so hot and dry here, the water would go somewhere, but it doesn't seem to. Cody Shue knows better now. His car, one of many damaged after heavy rainfall, caused flooding this weekend in Pueblo. Don't go in the water. Today, the water is gone. Traffic flows freely, but city stormwater employees are busy cleaning out the 29th Street pump station. Its pipes just not strong enough to handle the rain and washed out debris along with it. Crews reported to me that about 18 inches of sediment just covered the streets. That clogged our system and that slowed down our pumps. The pumps were operating, but it slowed them down enough to where this was a problem area for us. Yeah, exactly. So we need to address that. And they will soon. Stormwater Director Jeff Hawkins says the city received approval for a $2 million state loan to build a new pump station that will use larger pipes to nearly double its maximum water output to 17,000 cubic feet per second. We've just had challenges with getting the pumps going good. That's why we're very excited to get a brand new system in place that hopefully can, if not end this problem, at least alleviate it. But now Hawkins tells me he believes that project should be complete sometime next year, but the pump alone isn't going to fix this problem. You can still see a clearly defined path where all this erosion of these, this dirt, mud, rocks has slid down into this roadway, really making this such a muddy mess for drivers all over the place. For now, always watching out for you, Pueblo. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.